There's no data in the Ministry of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries to prevent the hunting season from opening on the 1st of October. The Agriculture Minister, Clarence Rambarat, told CNews the hunting season will proceed on the normal start date. He added the decision to impose the temporary ban was a contentious one as it lacked proper consultation. Ian Wayson has more. Wild meat lovers have a chance to smile again as the dishes of lap, deer and other delicacies will be available once more. The hunting season opens on October 1st and for the first time in two years, hunters will be free to hunt. Agriculture Minister Clarence Rambarat told the CNews the main concern when the ban started two years ago was the lack of proper consultation. He said there was an absence of data that would establish a case for the temporary ban. In particular, one of the things they've, point, they've pointed out to the ministry is that usually hunting involves five, five uh, category of animals, two of which are nocturnal, and most of, the, most, most of the exercises in search of the data, most of them are conducted, or all of them are conducted during the day. So they're saying obviously you would not see two particular species during the day. Um, and that, that has led to some objection. He added, the ban affected the livelihood of not only hunters, but entire communities. About the way in which the moratorium has affected rural communities in some parts of uh, rural Trinidad and Tobago, Moruga, Mayaro, Toko, Sangre Grande, uh, hunting households have said to me they've lost on average $60,000 a year on account of the hunting ban. And you know, hunting involves more than just the, the sale of the wild meat and the it involves the communities, it involves the people with the groceries and the shops and the parlors. The minister reminded there are still the normal restrictions when it comes to the amount of permits and the types of animals that can be hunted. Ian Wayson, CNews.